in New Jersey sets off a flurry of interest and also uh, and also a fury. Sadly, it's not unusual for things to be done. This is from NPR.com. Sadly, it's not unusual for things to be dumped in New Jersey, but a recent case brought a new twist. Hundreds of pounds of pasta left along a local brook and a mystery about who did it and why. Workers in Old Bridge Township found 15 wheelbarrow loads of illegal dumped pasta along a creek in a residential neighborhood. Old Bridge Business, um, business Administrator uh, Himanshu Shah told NPR, The pasta came in a variety of shapes, from spaghetti to macaroni, mounds of it, sitting along a wooded bank of the is uh, the Irsick Brook. Uh, photos from the scene set off a range of reactions from pasta puns to bafflement over who would do such a thing and why. There have been conflicting reports about whether the pasta was cooked and then dumped or if it merely grew soft and limp from rainfall or like the guy up in the deer hunting thing who was soft and limp and couldn't get out of the ropes. Uh, Shaw says the city believes... Uh, several hundred pounds of uncooked pasta was taken out of its packaging and dumped on the ground. It looks like it was only there for a short time, but moisture did start to soften some of the pasta, he said. Two workers from the city's public works department were able to clean up the area in less than an hour, Shaw said. As for the other part of the mystery, the who, local media outlets cite neighbors who believe the pasta came from a house that was recently cleared out ahead of being put on the market. A man's mother had died, the reports state, leaving her son to clear out pasta from her pantry. The city says the police department is looking into who was responsible for the pasta dump. So there you go. The pasta dump. Now you know, here on the show, we always like to d dive a little deeper into these stories. Uh, so on the phone right now is, uh, is uh, Sergio Morelli, who is the president of the Pine Brook County Waste Management Team. And uh, Mr. Morelli, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to have you here today. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, it's great to be here, Tully. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Oh, my gosh, you're a big fan? Yeah, you, you, you're fucking funny. All right, all right Mr. Mr. Morelli, I got I to gotta ask you. Uh, you got You can't swear. Oh, I, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. So, yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's talk about this pasta. All right, so, yeah, sir, Mr. Morelli, you, you... Call me Sergio. Call me Sergio. You're my friend. You, you Listen, you call me Sergio. All right, you call me Sergio. All right, Sergio. Uh, so this pasta was found dumped in a river. Yes, it's a... It's a disgrace. It is an absolute disgrace. When you take pasta, pasta is nature's perfect food. It, there's, nature does not make any other pasta. Well, I, I think, I don't know if pasta... You, are you about to say that, that pasta isn't nature's miracle? Well, I'm just saying that I don't think, I don't think pasta occurs naturally in nature. Well, you look near the riverbank, you're going to think otherwise, because where did that pasta come from? I'm just, hey, I'm just, I'm just kidding you. I'm just kidding you, Toily. Uh, listen, I, yeah, I know, I know that uh, pasta, you have to make pasta. I get it. I'm not a, I'm not a, well, I can't swear. I'm not an idiot. All right, so. So anyway, listen, uh, I just think it's a disgrace. When you waste pasta like that, you know, it, it gets to me. It gets to me. It makes me sad. It makes me wonder what kind of person has enough food to eat that they could just throw food out, you know, like that. You know, there's people, you hear stories every day, Toily, of people who are starving. And, you know, I'm in the waste management business, so I see a lot. I see a lot of, you know, wasted food, and it just hurts me. It's disres You know what it is? It's disrespectful. It's disrespectful, and I don't like the disrespect, you know what I'm saying? I, I was just saying... You know, you don't you don't throw pasta out, even if it's past its special expiration. I can't I can't even say it. Expiration date? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Even if it's past that, you don't throw it out. You just boil it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You just throwing the pasta out. It's just such a huge sign of disrespect. Well, there you go. Uh, and uh, so. Do you feel that uh, they should they should pursue this person? I do feel that they should pursue this person, and this person should be punished to the fullest extent of the law. You know, whatever it is, illegal dumping, whatever. Uh, you know what to think or two about illegal dumping, don't you? Don't you, Toily? <laughs> Toily? I'm still here. Anyway, listen, here's what I'm saying, though. Uh, as disrespectful 
and as horrible a tragedy as this is that somebody would throw perfectly good pasta, 15 wheelbarrows, 15 fucking wheel. All right, I told you, Mr. Morelli, uh, it's a pleasure having you on the show, but you can't swear. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just get worked up. I think about all that pasta, alone and cold, out in the middle of the woods by the brook. You know, I, uh, that's just sad. But here's the other thing I'll say, Toilie, and I want you to listen close to me. All right, oh, okay. Here's what I'm going to say. As disrespectful as it was that all this pasta was left out in the woods, here's something you got to know. You find something in the woods, you don't say a fucking word about it. If you find anything in the woods, you're out there hiking, you're out there walking along, you see something in the woods, you just back up and you didn't fucking see anything. Um... Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Sergio Morelli, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Sergio Morelli, we appreciate you being on the show. Hey, no problem, darling, no problem. I'll talk to you later. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, what just happened?